Hey everyone, it's Maggie Bot, and we are in year four of the annual Mox Boarding House Gauntlet Tournament. Uh, we run a charity tournament each year benefiting a local Seattle charity. This year we are working with Treehouse, and this is all being done through the charitable giving wing of Mox Boarding House called Engage. I've been on Engage for four years now since its inception, and the first year we threw together this tournament wanting to bring local companies together to use their name for good. Uh, we blatantly ripped this idea off of the Omegathon that happens every year. And so the first year we had kind of that idea. A team member would go and play Magic all day, a team member would go and play Ticket to Ride, and a team member would be involved in, you know, the sillier games. And then we would bring the teams together for trivia and for these party games. It was a smash success. We raised $25,000 for Child's Play. It was so much fun. But the teams were taking our silly, silly games very seriously. If you've ever heard of a very quiet game of Ugtect, uh, you've done something wrong. So we had to backpedal a little bit and decide how we wanted to do our game choices that still honored the level at which our competitors were bringing their behavior and their strategy. And so we needed to find games that worked on their level as well. So now we need strategy games that aren't too long, that can be played at four, that can be scored, that teams can be broken up and played at different boards, or that could come together. And we always want to play something a little bit familiar and also something new and different that they might not have played otherwise. We want to give them some negotiation or a way of talking to the other teams at the table. We want to do a lot of things in a very small amount of games, so we always have a huge challenge on our hands and we don't want any one of those games to be too short or too long to not fit into the flow of the day. I think this year we may have put ourselves into a bit of a pickle logistically, but I think it's going to pay off. So the first game of the day is an easy one. It's Kalis. It's fabulous. It's worker placement. You can't go wrong. Very mean, very competitive. We've got a round of trivia. Trivia is in there to help teams that maybe can't get together and play board games as much as they like, but they're just general, geeky, awesome people. And so trivia really benefits teams that maybe don't have as much spare time as some of the others. Then we have a game called Ponzi Scheme. This is from Tasty Minstrel Games. It's done by a guy named Jesse Lee. And Ponzi Scheme is this fabulous, crazy, weird negotiation game with very little talking. You kind of slide an envelope of money across to another player trying to trade industry tiles with them. They can either hand you that industry tile or they can match the amount of money you put in the envelope secretly, hand it back to you, and then take your tile from it. It's so fun and crazy and different that I thought it would be really interesting to put in a situation like this. Yes, there is randomness in it, but the randomness does not directly affect the players. Last but not least, we have my logistical nightmare, and that is Captain Sonar from Nautica Games. Captain Sonar is played team versus team, and it's similar to Battleship, but also like Artemis. So everybody has a different job and my job might be to try and figure out where you are. My job might be trying to steer our ship. My job might be trying to load the cannons or keep the ship afloat. And so we're running around a map trying to figure out where the other teams are and trying to bomb them off the face of the earth. And it's so wild and crazy because we are playing in real time. And the only time the action is stopped is when you're firing on the other team or trying to figure out where they are. So we're going to have judges at every table with some pretty strict guidelines of what is or isn't allowed in the game. I hope it goes over well. I have high, high hopes for this one. We're always looking for good, unique, or fun ideas for games for the gauntlet. Something that's not too much longer than two hours, something that's a little longer than one hour would be lovely, and we want something somewhat surprising for the players. So if you do have any suggestions of games that you might want to see in a long tournament like that, please put them down in the comments below. We will be streaming the gauntlet May 21st at twitch.tv slash card kingdom, and I hope to see y'all there. Bye.